Hi. Now, we have a curve that has the equation then y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4, and a line has the equation y equals mx, where m is a constant. And for this part, we've got to find the non-zero value of m for which the line is a tangent to the curve, and find the coordinates to the point where the tangent touches the curve for five marks. So if you'd like to try this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, let's just put down our two equations, and that is y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And the other line, which is y equals mx. Now, if we've got the curve, let's just draw our axes up and the curve, not that you necessarily have to draw this, but if we've got a tangent to the curve, then what we would want to find is that the point of contact of the tangent to the curve, there's only going to be one solution, one root, in other words. So what I'm going to do is equate these two equations together, generate a quadratic in x, and then I'm going to use the fact that if we've got one root, then we should be familiar with the fact that the discriminant, that's the b squared minus 4ac bit of a quadratic equation, is equal to zero. And then from that, we should be able to establish what m is. So let's just number our equations then, one and two, first of all. So what I'm going to do then is substitute equation two into equation one. And if we do that, we get mx then. So we have therefore mx will equal x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we need to rearrange this into a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So we've got the x squared. OK, now I'm going to take mx from both sides. So I'm going to have minus 4x minus mx. But I want one term there, so I'm going to group those two values together as 4 plus m in brackets and then pull out x. So you've got minus 4x minus mx. And then we've got the plus 4, and that equals 0. So when I compare this to the quadratic form ax squared plus bx plus c equaling 0, a would be 1, b would be minus 4 plus m, and c would be 4. And we should know that for a tangent, as I say, to the curve, it's a line that's only going to touch it in one point. There's going to be just one root. So for one root, OK, we should be familiar that when we're solving a quadratic equation, just a quick reminder that we would use the formula x equals minus b plus or minus the root then of b squared minus 4ac, and all of this would be divided by 2a. And to give that one root, b squared minus 4ac must come to 0. So for one root, let's just put that down there. It's called the discriminant but we'll put b squared minus 4ac must equal 0. Well, we know what b is. It's minus 4 plus m. So what we've got then is all of, we'll just put that in square brackets, the minus 4 plus m all squared. OK, that's the b squared minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is the 4 must come to 0. So if we just come down here, then what I've got is that all of this is 4 plus m all squared. Negative all squared is going to be a positive. So we're just going to have, therefore, 4 plus m all squared. OK. And this term here is going to be minus 16. But if I add 16 to both sides, we get that that equals 16. 
And I can take the square root to both sides now. And if I do that, I therefore have 4 plus m equals the square root of 16, which would be plus or minus 4. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, that leaves me with m equaling minus 4 plus or minus the 4 here. And if I take the values that m can be, if we take the positive value, we get minus 4 plus 4, so m turns out to be 0. Or if we do minus 4 minus 4, then m equals minus 8. So I can see that it must be minus 8 that we're interested in because it says find the non-zero value of m for which the line is a tangent to the curve. And looking at this now, I can see that when m equals 0, we would have the line y equals 0, which is a line just along the x-axis. You could see that would be a tangent to the curve here. The other one is y then equals minus 8x. And if I draw that tangent in, you can see it's going to touch here. Now we've got to get the point of contact where the tangent touches the curve. And we know that m is equal to minus 8. So if we were just to say when m equals minus 8, what we've got for the curve is that it's going to be x squared. Then we've got 4 plus minus 8, which is minus 4. So you've got minus minus 4, which is going to be plus 4x. And then plus 4 equals 0. So you can see that b is plus 4. And there's only going to be one root. And that root, because b squared minus 4ac is going to be 0, will be minus b over 2a. So x will equal minus whatever b is, and that was 4, divided by 2a. 2 times the 1 here, which is 2. So x is going to come to minus 2. What's y going to be at this point here where x is minus 2? Well, we can substitute it into here. And we get y equaling minus 8 times minus 2, which is going to be 16. So therefore, y equals 16. And that point of contact, let's just put it down here. Therefore, the point of contact is going to have coordinates minus 2, 16. All right?